Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Michael Dell. Bring on to the other side. Bring on to the other side. Bring on to out. Oh, yeah! Good morning. And welcome everyone to our first ever Dell EMC World. Remember back just one year ago at Dell World last year, where we had just announced the plan to combine Dell and EMC and VMware. Well, go big or go home, baby. <laughs> well, it turns out nobody went home. And today, Dell Technologies is the largest enterprise systems company in the entire world. Wow, what a long, thank you. Thank you very much. What a long, strange trip it's been. Just a few blocks away, yet a million miles from where I started 32 years ago. No one could have imagined what we would accomplish. All of us have been part of democratizing technology and the power of that information. And reimagining industries that drove growth and efficiency and opportunity that leveled the playing field for an emergent global middle class. Together, we have evolved technology from a bookkeeping tool in the back office to really at the very center of our businesses and our entire lives. How we live, how we learn, how we play, how we communicate, how we make decisions, and how we integrate and interact with our world, with each other at the most fundamental level. We have always believed that if we built the right technology, we could amplify and enhance and enable human progress. And when I look at what lies ahead, I realize that we've really just barely begun. As the cost of making something intelligent approaches zero dollars, intelligence is being embedded into every aspect of our physical world. We have about eight billion connected devices on the planet today. 15 years from now, the number of devices will grow to 200 billion or more, about 25 times the number of people on the planet. And all of those devices, those sensors, those nodes, will provide access to a host of new digital applications creating massive new sources of information. Using that information, both in real time and in time series, to provide better insights and to build a better world, that is the opportunity of our generation. And it may be the biggest opportunity in history. To meet this opportunity is the force of innovation whether it's in increasing processing power, bandwidth, storage capacity, you name it. Everything improves about 10 times every five years. That means in 15 years, 15 years from now, we'll have another 1,000 times improvement in power, speed, efficiency, capacity, compared to what we have today. And what could that look like? Smart cities full of driverless cars, no traffic, no accidents, maybe even no tickets. Nanobots that can cure cancer and repair cell damage. Overnight shipping will feel like snail mail compared to the instant gratification of drone delivery. These, plus hundreds of thousands of other incredible innovations, large and small, that we can't predict or really even conceive today. This is the internet of everything, an intelligent world pulsing with processing power and connectivity. It's been called the next 
Industrial Revolution, the next quantum leap in human progress. Virtual reality and augmented reality will redefine work, learning, and play. And whole new ways of living and doing business literally open up before our eyes. Applying machine learning and deep learning and artificial intelligence and unsupervised learning to all of this new data will amplify human creativity and, in fact, human potential and human possibility. It will unleash a torrent of innovation and progress and the ability to solve some of the world's greatest challenges. It's the sunrise of a new era, the digital dawn. And we are looking out onto this new day and transforming to embrace that opportunity. I know because I meet with so many of you every single day around the world, at the top of many of the top organizations in the world of every industry, public sector, private sector, this is what the best leaders are focused on and thinking about and working on. The physical reality is transforming into a digital reality, and physical businesses must transform as well. Recent Dell Technologies research makes it clear that for many, this digital dawn can also appear as a looming digital disaster. The Dell Technologies Digital Transformation Index pulled 4,000 executives around the world, like yourselves, across many different functions and industries on how prepared they are for this digital future. And what they told us was that 45% of businesses believe they may be obsolete in just three to five years. 48% don't even know what their industry will look like in just three years. And 78% of these businesses consider digital startups as a threat either now or in the future to their business. It's digital fear because they know that this future is coming very rapidly and the future doesn't care if you're ready. But we do. And that's why we created our company. That's why we created Dell Technologies, to be your best, most trusted partner in building your digital future. Dell Technologies is a family of businesses that includes the combined innovations of Dell, Dell EMC, Pivotal, RSA, SecureWorks, VirtuStream, and VMware. This unique structure allows us to be nimble and innovative like a startup, but at the scale of a global powerhouse. For you, that means a technology partner that can be number one in everything, all in one place. You, our customers and partners, have made us the leaders in servers, in storage, in virtualization, in security, in cloud software and cloud infrastructure, in software-defined data center, in converged and hyper-converged infrastructure, and in platform as a service. Thank you. We're the leader in 20 Gardner Magic Quadrants. We have incredible intellectual property and research and development teams in our company with over 40,000 patents and applications pending. A phenomenal engine of incredibly talented people in research and development with a annual spending of roughly four and a half billion dollars in research and development, roughly twice that of our next nearest competitor, and backed by the industry's most powerful supply chain 
enabling efficiencies across our entire family of businesses. Customers have made us number one because we have the best innovation engine and the highest quality and the greatest value. In go-to-market, our customer relationships, our company has the strongest capabilities with the furthest reach, with more customers and a more powerful channel ecosystem than any other technology company on the planet. With tens of millions of customers, large and small, 100% of the top 20 SaaS companies in the world, 90% of the top 20 IaaS companies in the world, 70% of the top 100 cloud companies, 100% of the top 20 automotive, retail, and telecoms, and 98% of the Fortune 500. You get the idea. As a privately controlled company, we have a seriously advantaged financial structure, completing our combination at historically good terms. Our cash flow to debt service ratios are phenomenal. In fact, our debt payments are much less than our competitors spend in buybacks and dividends. And anyone who tells you otherwise is just factually incorrect. We love being a privately controlled company. And I haven't found any downside to it. As a privately controlled company, we're focused on long-term success, not short-term quarterly earnings per share and, think, and, and the thinking that plagues many public companies. We can think in a time horizon that's measured in decades. Now, we're maintaining and investing in strong, independent ecosystems and open architectures. So you also have, within the Dell Technologies family, choice and flexibility. And you can get the most from your technology investments with full confidence in our product roadmaps, our warranties, our service agreements and commitments. We're also aligning our capabilities across the entire Dell Technologies family in order to deliver engineered solutions in areas like hybrid cloud, big data, analytics, and security. We'll enable the modern data center by providing the industry's leading converged and hyper-converged infrastructure from the sensors and gateways and PCs and virtual PCs at the edge all the way uh, to the data center. All of this as part of the internet of everything, all wrapped with unmatched global support and services. From the industry's best solution architects and consultative expertise to the power of our global Pro Support Plus. We have 60,000 Dell EMC service pros and 120,000 certifications covering 165 countries. To summarize my vision for our new company, I'd say we're going to be the trusted provider of essential infrastructure for the next industrial revolution. If you're going to transform to embrace the digital future, we're the place to come. And when I think of an organization and a leader that is really leading the way in this industrial digital transformation, it's GE and Jeff Immelt. Let's take a look at the video. The way I've thought about technology has changed dramatically. I think industrial companies were weak at technology. You know, fundamentally, we outsource too much. 
Uh, everything was a mystery. Every new device was a mystery. So I think for anybody in the industry, you better be ready for industrial change or customers changing. And I, I know we sure are all over that. The products we have today are surrounded by sensors. They produce data. What's happening in the industrial world is the physical world, which has been part of GE for 100 years, and the digital and analytical world are really merging. They're merging in a way that can deliver uh, lots of productivity to industrial customers, railroads, hospitals, people like that. And so I would say the world that's grown up as physical science is now being merged with digital science and going forward, the two are inextricably linked to the future of time. So if you went to bed last night as an industrial company, uh, you wake up this morning as a software and analytical company and it's just the way the world is. That's the modern GE. We made an investment in Pivotal in 2013. We wanted to be an early investor, both in terms of what we could learn, but also more importantly, putting it as a fundamental technology inside Predix, which is our operating platform. Uh, Cloud Foundry, which is part of Pivotal, is now a seminal part of how we think about our technical capability. We've enjoyed the relationship so far. We like the fact that people like Ford and others are getting into it. I view this as a key asset for Dell Technologies going forward. Well, there you have it. You go to bed as an industrial company and you wake up as a software and analytics company. It really says it all. And for hundreds of leading global partners like GE, Pivotal Cloud Foundry is the platform for their digital applications and the operating system for the cloud and the internet of things. And it's really at the heart of their digital transformation. Pivotal Cloud Foundry is built on the fully open source Cloud Foundry, so you avoid the cloud lock-in problem. It accelerates innovation and it's cloud neutral. It's completely elastic and portable across any cloud, like AWS, Azure, Google Cloud Engine, and on-premise clouds as well. And why is this important? because the cloud is an operating model for IT. It's not a place. The public cloud has grown and will continue to grow because it provides a fully automated self-service model for provisioning and running infrastructure. It also allows you to start small and grow big. But anyone with a cloud-first strategy that is public cloud only I think will find themselves uncompetitive for workloads that have predictable characteristics. A much more likely scenario is a hybrid cloud environment that makes use of private cloud and multiple public clouds. We also believe this because for years we've been selling infrastructure to the public cloud companies. And the biggest difference between what those mega clouds use and the traditional infrastructure is the software. With the right software from Pivotal, from VMware, from VirtuStream, and by leveraging the power of the Dell EMC portfolio, we can deliver engineered and integrated solutions for private and hybrid cloud. They get you up and running more quickly and for less money. We believe that everyone is on a journey to the hybrid cloud. And we typically see three steps to get there. The first step in the data center is that the data center has to be modernized. The second step is we need to automate every process in IT. And the third is we need to transform IT to operate much more like a service provider. So starting with the modern data center, this should be based on modern architecture, utilizing flash, scale out, and software defined technologies. And Dell EMC, whether you're talking about storage or servers, or backup and data protection, or converged infrastructure, hyperconverged, customers have made us number one. 
and in virtualization with VMware, we're also number one. We are best placed to serve you, whether you're a small and growing business or one of the largest companies or a government. We also know that you have a data center full of things that have been put there over the last 20 years or so, and you need more efficiency. Budgets are under pressure, but you also need more performance and more reliability. Now done right, the savings from your data center modernization will help fund the important digital transformation that needs to occur inside the business. It's hard to think of any industry that is having to move faster between the old world and the new world than telecommunications. So let's take a moment and hear from Randall Stevenson of AT&T. We talk a lot about the cloud, virtualization of the data center. This virtualization is moving all the way into the core networks of telecommunications companies. And this is having a profound impact on how we think about telecommunications. It changes the cost structure of, of how we deliver information and in telecommunication networks. Software-defined networking is just enhancing the speed at which we bring new services to market. It's changing how our customers interact with us. Suddenly, our customers are designing their networks. They're designing their bandwidth requirements. They're doing all of this on their own. Now think about Dell and EMC coming together leader in hardware, leader in software, leader in virtualization. Where else would you rather be in this world than the place where all of those come together? And I'm very excited for them. I think they picked a very opportune time to step into this world. So congratulations, best of wishes, and we look forward to working with you in the future. And you know, if you think about AT&T and the telecom space, on top of all of that that's going on, in a few years, we're gonna see the fifth generation cellular network, which is about 12 times faster than the current 4G LTE that we're all enjoying. There's that 10 times improvement that I mentioned earlier uh, showing up again. Look, the support of our customers means the world to us. And we appreciate that you believe that we're bringing together the right capabilities at the right time to help transform your technology. In fact, customers have made Dell EMC the leading provider of cloud infrastructure on the planet. And here today, I am very proud to unveil our new brand of Dell EMC infrastructure. David Goulden is going to be out here in a few minutes to provide a very complete view of the incredible capabilities and products and solutions and services that we have across Dell EMC. And you're going to see we've, we've been very busy. But I, I wanted to share that I'm so proud of our teams. In just six weeks after the closing of the combination, we're already delivering an enormous number of solutions with the combined innovations of Dell, EMC, and VMware together. World-class technology democratized by Dell. Boom. <laughs> the future of the data center. There it is. Now, after modernizing your data center and modernizing this infrastructure, the second step on your journey to the hybrid cloud is to automate IT. And here again, VMware reigns supreme. With over 500,000 customers around the world, VMware enables a software-defined approach to data center operations, making your entire infrastructure programmable and automated. The third and final step to transform your, your IT operating model is you need to decide which workloads are gonna run on-premise and which are gonna run off-premise in the public cloud. IT is no longer just a supplier of services, 
but it's a broker of IT services. And once again, at Dell Technologies, we're going to make this easy. For performance sensitive, mission critical applications and workloads like SAP and Oracle and others, you can move everything to VirtuStream. And we're going to guarantee a level of service like no other public cloud can provide. We also offer choice. You might have seen the recent VMware announcements with AWS and IBM to be able to provide VMware Cloud Foundation on their public cloud infrastructure. And we have a strong partnership continuing with Microsoft around Azure. You will live in a multi-cloud world. And with VMware, Pivotal, Boomi, VirtuStream, we'll provide the software to help you manage through it. Now, clouds are great, but it's really about how the technology enables and empowers you and your users throughout your organization to get things done. Transforming your data center is just one piece of the digital transformation. Equally important is workforce and workplace transformation. And these are changing as well. Our professional and personal lives are fluid. They're conducted simultaneously in flexible environments across many different devices. And at Dell Technologies, we are innovating to unleash the passion and the creativity of your people. From beautiful, innovative devices designed specifically for the way people work to the digital workspaces that deliver easy and secure access to any application on any device. Dell Technologies is powering this workforce transformation with a seamless end user experience and simplified IT management. And after you hear from David, Jeff Clark is going to join us on stage, and he's going to share the innovations and strategies of our Dell Client Solutions Group. As you know, the PC business remains core to our mission and our strategy. I also want to really thank our customers around the world who have rewarded the investments that we've made in innovation and continuing to, to deliver great value to our customers. We have achieved a historic 15 quarters in a row of increasing our PC share. Thank you. In, in fact, this last quarter, we outgrew our competition and last and, and year to date, uh, all of our major PC competitors have declined while Dell is growing. We're the only one that's growing. In fact, I've heard some say that you know we're going to be distracted by this combination. Eh, that's all wrong. Nothing like that is, is happening. So look, PCs in all their various forms are deeply integrated into the computing fabric of our world. And this is especially so with this internet of everything and the incredible innovation that's happening at the edge. And guess what? In another 15 years, another 1,000 times improvement. Now, as you go to 200 billion nodes, uh, you know, it all has to be connected to the data center and to the cloud. And these connections between the edge and the cloud will be increasingly central to our experience and the workplace of the future. With leading solutions in both the infrastructure and the client solutions businesses, we can drive innovation at scale across your entire environment. One customer that is meeting the challenge of digital transformation head on is Ford and their CIO, Marcy Claiborne. 
the automotive industry is changing dramatically. Ford really is understanding the power of technology and how it can help customers. What Ford's doing is continue to manufacture cars that people love as part of our core business. But synergistic with that is we become a mobility and transportation company. We believe through the use of data, we can get to know our customers more intimately and find ways to help them improve their lives, which is our vision. Consumer preferences are changing dramatically. They expect connectivity wherever they go. We just announced Sync Connect. Sync Connect is a way to allow people to access their vehicle, unlock your car, check your miles till empty, and also provide software updates real time. Software is already hugely important in a vehicle. For example, in our F-150, there's 150 million lines of code today. But as we wrap services around that, you want to get navigation help, if you want to find where the next restaurant is, technology and software become more and more important. Last spring, we invested in a company called Pivotal Software Company, and the investment's very key for us. They're helping us transform the way we think about software and how we transform our culture accordingly to be able to operate at market speed. When we look at strategic partnerships, we look for partners that want to innovate together, want to look to the future together. And we have a long-standing relationship with Dell Technologies. We're undergoing right now a huge campus transformation. We have about 150,000 or more of their personal computers deployed across our enterprise, so our employees can have a more productive and open environment and a more social environment. They'll interact with many large customers of our scale and global reach. We're looking to Dell to help us innovate differently, maybe change some processes, and how we can do more to deliver value to our customers. Innovations in our DNA, we're gonna change the way the world moves again through autonomous vehicles, through software and services, through big data, and it's really never been a more exciting time to be at Ford and in technology. What an amazing story. One of the leading innovators from the last Industrial Revolution, transforming aggressively to become one of the leading innovators in the next Industrial Revolution. Now, as we connect up everything, it all has to be secure. With this explosion in the number of devices going to 200 billion plus, and the digitization of the world's critical infrastructure, and also the increasing value of all the data from all these systems, the attack surface is growing significantly. As everything becomes digital, it also becomes vulnerable to attack. At the same time, the sophistication, the complexity, and the frequency of the cyber attacks are increasing at an accelerating pace. In fact, the cost of cybercrime is estimated to be as great as $2.1 trillion annually within the next five years. And in the interconnected business world that we live in, increasingly with the Internet of Things, a single data breach could exceed a cost of $150 million. That's why security transformation sits alongside technology transformation and workforce transformation as the third pillar that supports the overall digital strategy of your organization. Today, security has got to be business driven. In other words, the security policy has to adapt to the changing requirements of the business versus inhibiting them. It's also got to be information driven. Can you inspect every packet that goes across your network and do it in real time and correlate that with the external threat landscape? It's also got to be risk driven. Do you know the risk posture inside your organization and where you stand from a compliance standpoint? Now we have a huge opportunity to solve this problem with RSA, SecureWorks, NSX, AirWatch, and DDPE, integrated, comprehensive, category-leading solutions from across our family of businesses. Through our managed security services, we see about 200 billion network events each day that we analyze for malicious activity and deliver security countermeasures to help you stay in front of those. In other words, we know what's out there, 
We're seeing more of it than anyone else, and we know what to do about it. Here at Dell EMC World, you are getting a look at, a first look at the next great technology company, able to do more for you, our customers, and our partners than any other technology company on the planet. But there is actually much more to our story. As a combined company, we lead with purpose. We believe that the work that we are doing is important and will make a tremendous and positive difference in the world. Together, we have an unprecedented opportunity to do more. And that is exactly what we will do. You can see it in our commitment to sustainability. You can see it in our philanthropic endeavors. You can see it in the millions of volunteer hours that our team members give to our communities around the world. And you can see it in our ongoing investments in the next generation of inventors and entrepreneurs. As a matter of fact, we have several community partners here with us in the audience today. We have Enactus, Girl Start, The Thinkery, and Girl Scouts, just to name a few. I think they're, here, here are some of them. Thank you all for being here. By partnering with terrific organizations like this, we're helping to address the very real skills gap that exists in our industry today. And just last week, we announced our first youth learning partnership as a combined company with Girls Who Code. This is an organization that provides computer science education to about 15,000 girls in underserved communities here in the United States. Now think about what these brilliant young women will do 15 years from now using technology that is a thousand times more powerful. They will advance energy and healthcare, transportation, education, and they will expand opportunity for their, for their generation and generations to come. And together, all of us will have been the ones who invented and innovated and invested to transform our organizations for a better world and a better future. Because when we stand at the center of the world's technology, we stand at the center of human progress. And there's no place I'd rather be. Thank you all very much.